G'day, my name is Carl Crawford. I'm here live at the Sale Exchange. We've done a few of these videos this week explaining what we do and today we thought we'd do it in-house and we're here in our building, in our factory in Brookvale in Sydney, Australia and we've got over two and a half thousand sales in this building and all these sales have arrived on consignment so people bring them in, we store them and then every month we bring in a, a lot of people and we take a big lot of space downstairs roll out some very big black tarps you would have seen in the photographs we lay all the sales out and we photograph them and rate them and fill in all the attributes that you see on the website this allows you to shop with confidence because all the information you require is already on the website we have the, the material weight obviously the dimensions all the specialties of the sales and the interface with hanks and slides and what size they are so we have all that information I'm also going to go through another part of the procedure which is we find very important and that is that you get the correct measurements. Now we've just done a few of these lives this week and we've had a lot of feedback. In fact it's been overwhelming and one of the things that's quite amazing is people think you actually have to go up the mast to get the measurements which I didn't think of that. So what that's about is you don't actually have to go up the mast at all. What you do have to do is get a tape measure that's at least as long as the mast. And if you get that tape measure and you download our form and at the end of this I'll actually tell you how you can get some more of this information. With this form it explains what tools you need and how, it, how the process is done. And I'm just going to run you through it so it's really clear because with accurate measurements not only can we find sales that, will be, that could fit your boat but also be very close to fitting. If they're close to fitting we can actually recut them to make them fit perfectly. But the point here is without accurate measurements we cannot make them fit correctly and so there'll be disappointment. So I'm just going to take you through a couple of things and explain to you what we do here uh, every day, probably about 20 times a day. We explain to people that basically with a headsaw for example you'd have a triangle. So this will come out back to front on the camera but you get the idea. So the furler has a tack here and there's a swivel here at the top. So it's really imperative that you measure what we call the max system luff and that max system is what you would do when you pull the how you swivel to the top and it stops and you measure down to this tack shackle we then know the exact luff measurement for your head saw we can allow for the stretch that's pretty easy and then also what's important is on the deck there's two there's genoa tracks both sides of the boat and what's important is we measure while there's halyards up the, the swivels at the top here you measure down to the front of this track and down to the back of this track then you measure from the tack to the front of the track and from the tack to the back of the track. And the reason why we do that is because now I can find many sails, these points being the clue or the bottom half corner of the sail, I can find many sails, probably about 30 sails that will fit your yacht because these are all clue positions, they're all points in space. And what's important is you've given me the max and the minimum triangle and that works really well. What doesn't work is if you give me a measurement A, B and C off your sail because that doesn't tell me really anything. It tells me that you've got a sail that fits your boat but I might have a sail, your sail might be here and my sail might be here or here or here or here or here and it's still going to fit inside this Genoa track scope. So this might be about say two metres and say this is about four metres and say this is about 14 metres. I'll have a host of sails in this building that will fit your boat but I can only do that with accurate measurements. So don't go up the mast, make sure you use a tape measure and I'll give you another tip for free. When you pull the halyard swivel up on the force day obviously you have to have pulled the head saw and put it on the deck before you do this. But what's important is when you when you pull it up and you put the tape measure in the shackle that you would normally attach the sail to it's really important that you tie a rope to that because when it goes up and it gets jammed in the shiv box at the top you want to be able to pull down pretty hard and you don't want to break the tape measure so you want to have a piece of rope attached to that head swivel. So that's pretty clear, right? you've got the head swivel, you've got the tack swivel, that's a roller fill in Genoa. Again for a mainsail it's a very similar detail, we've got to, we've got to measure the max hoist and we've got to measure the max outhaul. So we measure Again, we pull the tape measure all the way to the top till it stops, it goes clunk, and you know you're there. 
and you measure from the back of the mast to the max outhaul where the outhaul is pulled all the way 100%, it can't go any further. Because these measurements here, you'll find this will be about 300 mil longer than your sail. This is probably 150 mil longer. And I might have sails that fit in there that are slightly bigger than your sail because your sail shrunk and you're using a sail measurement, not the rig measurement. So what's really important is we have accurate, hard rig measurements and with those we can assist and we can recut sails to fit because we know what the max measurements are. So what else do we do at the sail exchange? I'll tell you what else we do. Once, once we rate all these sails and we measure them, we have to actually store them in this building. Now, we've got a scissor lift over here and we've got all this vertical space. We've got five lanes of this building with all these different sail racks. All the sails have tags, as you can see, and all those tags have a SKU, or a stock keeping unit number, SKU. And they're the tags, that, or the SKU you would see on the website when you want to find a sail and that's how we locate everything. And you can put those SKUs in the search field and you can find the sale and once we start doing some emailing backwards and forwards, we can help you and assist you with your measurements. We can give you, and this, example, this is a very good example, we can give you four or five or six sales, which will give you the part numbers to, and you can go look at them, because some will be brand new, some will be rated eight out of 10, some will be rated five out of 10, some might be two out of 10. But the point is they're all gonna have different prices, so only you can decide which one you wanna purchase, because obviously if I choose one, it'll be the most expensive and it'll be the newest. So out of this two and a half thousand sales, we probably have today about 800 new ones and we've got more coming. We gather these sales from various manufacturing companies around the world. There's about a dozen of them and they're excess stock. They've, uh, people ask us why, how do we get these sales? We get them because people have ordered the wrong color, the wrong size, they haven't finished making the payments, whatever the reason, it's not up to me. But we clear those sales for many manufacturers around the world. So those sales come here in containers. We measure them, we rate them, we photograph them, we log them, we put them in our inventory. And then those sales then go somewhere else in the world. So we've got sales coming everywhere to Sydney, then they're going back in boxes and they're going straight back out again overseas. So we do a lot of that. About probably two thirds of our work right now is overseas with the Aussie dollar at 60 cents, which is fantastic for us. So we're recycling, we're repurposing, we're helping the planet, we're keeping things in good order and we've got a lot of life, there's a lot of life in these sails yet to be used on many boats around the world, so we're in very good shape. So at the end of this video, you could, uh, if you feel like it, you can go on our website on sailexchange.com.au, or if you press the measurement form button at the bottom of this, you'll be able to, we'll send you some information and a link and a video on how to measure your boat. So thank you very much. It's Carl Crawford from the Sail Exchange signing off.